Cunningham? Present. Glass? Yes. Holder? Present. Hood? Here. Slayer? Yes. Tucker? Present. Is there a motion to approve the minutes of January 10th? Sounds good. Second. Second. Cunningham, second by Slater. Cunningham? Yes. Slater? Yes. Glass? Yes. Hood? Yes. Holder? Yes. Pepper? Yes. Treasurer's report. $8,950.56. Exactly. So nothing's changed. Nothing's changed.
space at this point. Which that saved 2.4 million worth of costs. So we've got it scaled down to just over 8 million. But that's without saying what he comes with. There may be some things to he's added, but so we'll see. I did talk to Stockton just, you know, kind of after we had met and he said if anything we need to be sure. Um, <clears throat> You know some obvious things. He said on the seating, he's been at a lot of them where the support beams are in, in the line of sight. I mean, I think we've already talked about that. And uh, I kind of showed him this pencil drawing, and he said on the uh, what would this be? I guess this would be the timed event. He said we we don't want it too close to that wall. Um, that Duncan's one of the worst. It's just, it right needs to be back to the left. I mean, that's just a yeah. very minor thing, but uh, those were his, his two things. So I think that we, we are going to have a design probably in the next two weeks to look at. So uh, I think we'll off and running and, and uh, that looks looks promising. Yeah, I think we felt more encouraged after that second meeting. Yeah. Maybe we were in the ballpark, so you were talking about rendering the cost. He asked if we want to do a oh a rendering of a kind of conceptual outside view of the, of the proposed facility. Um, I talked to him on the phone of that cost is he said they can put about three thousand dollars. So you know that's something that we if, do we want to do, do we not want to do, at what point do we want to have something? You know really it's, it's kind of the exterior image of what the site could look like. It really doesn't give much detail to the inside. It's kind of like a the book of a, of a home. I mean, it, it'll give the aesthetics look and kind of a conceptual of it, but as far as the, the inside breakdown, not so much. So that's something that, you know, we need to think about. And the architect that they're working in or the firm that he's working with can, can get those out rather quickly. So that's something that if we, we want to do, it's just a cost that he said it was about 3000 On cost with Lynn right now, we're just kind of working under the same idea that the initial, initial contract with him, and so um, I'm sure our committee maybe has spent some money. We just don't know how much we spent yet as far as that goes. So, but I think we still are okay. We're not in the red yet, but that's that's kind of what we've been tasked to do. Any more discussion? Management slash operations. I think I'm on it. We we have a see. Cunningham Slater Holder is on that one, and, and we have not met. We were focused more on the design, I guess, at this point. So. So on the location committee, I did speak to the landowner again yesterday, and he assured me everything was still to go, that they were getting their appraisal, going to the appraisal process. So we still have a, we still have a location. Then on funding, we've done that. So nothing on it. My only question, or one question I have, what's our timeline? If, if we have to throw a dart to the wall and think, Everything works seamlessly. What are we thinking as far as a potential ground breaking time? Are we thinking fall? Are we thinking next spring? Are we thinking summer? What What would be the group's kind of? Because that's something that Glenn had asked me. He said, "What's your time frame? Is this something that we're? I mean, are we thinking? What What's the kind of the group thinking as far as if everything falls into place with funding?" All the pieces work, but if it all work, what would be our, our hope? Uh, I'd, I'd hope by summertime. So I think the land will surely be finalized in the next 30, 45 days. 
just my gut feeling on the land. I agree. Yeah, you hate to get too far into the fall to start because then you're going to have a lot yeah, actually, of Actually, earlier in the spring you can start the better if you want. So our hopeful time would be possibly June or July. What's she for sure? What's she for sure? <laughs> I think a lot of that will depend on the design and you know how quickly they can get stuff back and forth and changes and you know and get approvals and that kind of thing. And do we want me to to call a special meeting at the point we get something back or uh, or wait a full month to the regular? I'd say we need to meet you know as long as we get something back. I, I think sooner the better because I think the more time that you get to look at the design, the better off you're going to be, and the more hands we can get it into to get suggestions. Not, not that they would all be fulfilled, but to get the suggestions and try to get around, around Robin Field. Well, the design committee will let Glenn know that June is the date. I'm sure that uh, he'll think. Really? Yes, that is. We call it Rodeo's Land, Janet. Uh, last, either last weekend in October, first weekend in November. <laughs> A year down. How long yeah. a construction phase he thought this might be, and he thinks it could be 12, 14, 16 month project. So, I mean, I think 14 to 16 months, you know, from start to finish yeah. is going to be kind of the, the timeline. That was longer than what I thought, but that's, that's just what he did today. So, I would say 16 months would be a target. Business. Anybody have anything? Motion to adjourn. So moved.